Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. So in today's video, we're gonna be answering the question, what is a server? So if you're a beginner to servers or desktops, or you're just confused about the topic in general, we're gonna cover some of the basics and help you understand what it is, how it works, and why they exist. Now, if you're looking to pick up Microsoft software or a server, which we do offer, check out Indigo Software. We'll put all the links in the description below. So without further ado, let's begin today's video. All right, so what is a server? A server is a dedicated computer that provides services on behalf of clients. So it's a centralized machine that multiple clients connect to for a specific service. Now, some of the most common servers offer the services of email, data storage, and web services. So some servers will have one specific service, such as email or you could set up a server to host a variety of different services. So different organizations host servers to provide these services to a wide variety of people connecting to them. One thing to note is that a server is not just a physical computer, but rather it's a role that a computer takes. Any ordinary desktop computer can be configured as a server and other computers can connect to the server to access files or a certain web service, etc. Now, one thing to note is that desktop computers are generally not designed to handle a large workload. Servers need to run 24 seven because they can be vital to an organization. And this is why servers need to be more reliable. So a desktop computer uses a processor designed for that desktop computer, whereas a server has a special processor that is designed for the server. So the processor itself needs to be fast and it needs to be able to perform a wide variety of tasks simultaneously. So for example, Xeon processors support a multi-processing environment. And that means that they're designed to work with other processors. So you could place multiple processors on the same motherboard. So you could place multiple Xeon processors on the same motherboard to handle a large workload and desktop computer processors do not support this. Now Xeon processors also support ECC RAM. ECC RAM is a form of memory that is able to detect whether data was correctly processed, which helps to prevent memory errors. Think of it as a precaution to put in place to prevent a server from having to shut down. ECC RAM also allows for larger amounts of RAM, a larger cache memory, and a higher core count. Now, another thing that's important about servers is that they have swappable hard drives in a RAID configuration. So for example, if you have one hard drive that fails, the server will continue to run and you can switch out the failed hard drive without losing information and without shutting down the server. Now, another feature of servers is a redundant power supply. because that's another area where you could see failures and you don't want the server to shut down. Servers also need to use a server operating system. So this could be Linux, Windows Server, or Mac OS Server. Now, there are many different types of service. So one example would be a web server. And the web server runs the website software and it contains all of its data as well. And another good example is an email server. So email servers facilitate the sending and receiving of emails. And you would access this email server by using your internet browser, or alternatively, you can use a client such as Outlook or Thunderbird. Now, one more example would be a database server. So a database server is gonna be storing data on the back end, and when computers connect to the server, it will retrieve them on the front end. Now, these are just a few examples of the types of service that can be provided from a server but there are many, many different services that can be provided. So we hope this video helped you guys to understand the concept of a server and kind of how they work. If you enjoyed the video, we'd really appreciate a like, comment, and subscribe. And again, be sure to check out Indigo Software if you're interested in looking at servers or Microsoft software in general. So thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video.